Hi there, it's Asia. You know, when you're writing your task to essays, you should use a range of linking words or connectors to join your ideas together. There are some simple ones we all know and use. These are words like but and then to give you some examples. But to get a high score in IELTS writing, you must use some more formal linking words. So today in this video, I'm going to share with you the best linking words to use, as well as examples of how to use them correctly in real IELTS task to essay topics. Okay, let's get started. Let's begin with that very simple linking word, but. We use but to contrast two statements. We're simply saying that there is a difference between them. I can say, for example, I like comedies, but I don't like horror films. Now, there are several linking words that you can use instead of but in task two. Here they are. Although, however, nevertheless or nonetheless, and despite or in spite of. There are two very important points to remember and practice here. The first is where our linking word comes in the sentence. Does it come in the middle and join the two parts of the sentence, the same as but? Or can we put it right at the beginning of the sentence? The second point is punctuation. Remember that the IELTS examiner will be looking very carefully at your punctuation. When do you need to use a comma or semicolon or a full stop? Let's look at some examples of these linking words in sentences that we can use in IELTS writing task to essays like this one. The topic is In some countries, children are often told that they can achieve anything if they try hard enough. What are the advantages and disadvantages of giving children this message? We need to write at least 150 words and probably four paragraphs. The first paragraph presents the essay question and introduces our point of view. Look at this example with but. This message can inspire and motivate some children, but it can also lead to disappointment and a sense of failure in others. When we use although, we usually put it at the beginning of the sentence. Although this message can inspire and motivate some children, it can also lead to disappointment and a sense of failure in others. Pay special attention to that comma in the middle that separates the two contrasting parts of the sentence. Many people like to use the words however or nevertheless, which are very similar in meaning. However is a word for special occasions. Why? Because we use it when we want to say something very important after. Have a look at this sentence. This message can inspire and motivate some children. However, it can also lead to disappointment and a sense of failure in others. Notice that it comes between the two contrasting statements and that we always place a comma after it and either a semicolon or a full stop before it. In other words, we can write two sentences instead of one, like in the second example. Nevertheless and also nonetheless can be used in place of however in exactly the same way. Let's use a different example to show this. Some children push themselves to the limit. Nevertheless, they may not achieve their goals. Another very useful linking word to show contrast is despite. But the grammar of this word is different to the others. Usually in English, there is a pattern of subject, 
verb complement. For example, in although this message can inspire some children, despite is followed by a different form. This is usually a gerund. Look at how it works. Despite pushing themselves to the limits, some children may not achieve their goals. We do not use a subject and verb after despite. In this example, it's just a gerund pushing. The subject some children appears in the other part of the sentence after the comma. Please don't forget to use the comma. We can also use in spite of instead of despite. In spite of studying so hard, he did not achieve his goal. All of these words we have looked at so far from although to despite show really strong contrast. We use them especially in writing to make the difference we want to express very clearly. Sometimes, however, we only want to make a simple contrast. Let's look at some ways to do that. We can use while, whereas, on the other hand, conversely, and in contrast. These linking words are very useful when we want to present the two points of view at the very beginning of our essay. Let's look at some examples. I believe that the main advantage of this message is that it helps children to think and act independently, while the main drawback is that it can lead to unnecessary levels of stress. The linker while is in the middle. When we use it to contrast two ideas, don't forget your comma. We can use whereas in exactly the same way. There will be children who will benefit from this message, comma, whereas others may find it intimidating and detrimental to their mental well-being. With the other examples, we should pay careful attention to punctuation in the same way we do with however and nevertheless. There will be children who will benefit from this message, semicolon. On the other hand, comma, others may find it intimidating and detrimental. Or, of course, we can begin a new sentence. Some children will try their best to be high achievers, full stop. Conversely, comma, there will always be those who react negatively to pressure. Just to confirm, you can use on the other hand and conversely both ways with a semicolon and with a full stop. Now, let's leave contrast and comparing to one side for a moment and think about some simple ways to add new information to what we have just written. Of course, the word we often use to do this is and, but there are synonyms we can use instead such as along with, together with, as well as, and besides. Here is an example. Positive encouragement can help young people develop their talents as well as making them feel more self-confident. Notice the gerund making after the linking words. It can help people develop their talents as well as making them more self-confident. We can use along with, together with, and besides in exactly the same way, although besides can also be used at the beginning of a new sentence. Hard work does not necessarily bring children success. Besides, Socializing and play are probably more important to their health and development. Now, what if we want to say something a little more complicated? We can add or join an additional idea or point to our argument. 
This is very important in task two essays in particular because we should try to present several points of view in favor or against the topic in question. The simple way to do this is using also. But let's add some alternatives. Moreover, furthermore, in addition, likewise, and similarly. This time I'm going to use a different task to as a topic. Here it is. In some countries, owning a home rather than renting one is very important for people. Why might this be the case? Do you think this is a positive or negative situation? Look at this example. I want to make two important points. Living in a property you own gives you a strong sense of stability and security. Moreover, property is an excellent investment for the future. Joining two ideas like this in two sentences, with the second one beginning with either moreover or furthermore or in addition, with all three usually followed by a comma, is an excellent way to present your ideas in a task two essay. If the second point you want to make is closely linked to the first, a kind of continuation of the same point, we can use likewise or similarly. Here is an example. Notice that the best way is to start a new sentence. In many countries, house prices are so high that it is almost impossible for young people to enter the property market. Similarly, or likewise, the cost of renting is prohibitive for this part of the population, especially in large cities. Right, let's go on to another type of linking word. I'm thinking of words that show sequence in time or in process. I'm sure you know words like first, then, after, finally, and expressions such as in the first place or first of all, and so on. But what about these? Subsequently, thereafter. Both can replace the words after or then. Families who default on their mortgage payments lose their properties and subsequently or thereafter find it impossible to seek a bank loan ever again. Next, I'd like to share important linking words that either show the result or consequence of something or explain the cause. Let's take consequences first. One good way to show this connection is to use as a result. But there are some other ways too. Here are some of them. Consequently, as a consequence, therefore, or thus. Here is an example. Homeowners do not have to worry about taking good care of someone else's property and as a result, can feel free to make any changes they wish. Here, I'm comparing those who buy their home to those who rent one. Here's another example. Many people take out large loans to help pay for their home. As a consequence, they might be in debt to a bank for years before paying it all back. See how we can either put these linking words at the beginning of a new sentence or as part of just one sentence after and and separated by commas before and after. Exactly the same is true for both therefore and thus. The punctuation again is very important. In some societies, home ownership is seen as a sign of social prestige. Therefore, it is something many people aspire to. We can also use a semicolon before therefore. And a sentence with thus. Recent trends suggest that the young prefer to spend their savings on travel and thus do not buy a property until much later in life. 
If we want to explain what the cause of something is, the most common linking word is because. This we put in the middle of the sentence, like in our example. Owning property is often seen as a good way to invest money because its value will increase over time. To add variety to your writing, you can also use as and since. Both can come in the middle of the sentence, or we can start a sentence with them, putting the cause first and the result after. Since or as, property prices in city centers are practically unaffordable, prospective buyers are forced to look for cheaper homes in the suburbs. One more point I want you all to pay very special attention to. A lot of people think that they can use because of and due to in exactly the same way as because. I'm sorry, you can't. It is wrong to write this sentence. Because of property prices in city centers are practically unaffordable, you can't say that. Why? It's because these linking words are grammatically the same as despite and in spite of. We do not follow them with a subject and a verb. Look at this example. Because of rising costs, maintaining a home in optimal conditions is becoming increasingly difficult. Before the comma, no verb, just an adjective and a noun, rising costs. IELTS examiners will look at your uses of linking words very carefully when they read your essays. In the area of coherence and cohesion, these linking words, which are described in the official IELTS descriptors as cohesive devices, will help you get band 8 if you manage all aspects of them well. And band 7 if you use a range of them appropriately. In other words, correctly in terms of grammar, punctuation, and in the correct sense of what they mean. Moreover, in the grammatical range and accuracy criteria, good use of punctuation will help you get band 7 plus. So knowing how to use the linking words we've seen in today's video will help you achieve the score you want. And if you want to learn how to meet each band 7 plus requirement, how to write your essays more quickly and prepare for your exam in less time and with less stress and achieve a higher score, check out my online courses. I will link them in the video description box below. And if you'd like to see a full sample answer, I have one you can download in the PDF format right now. Thank you so much for watching me today. Good luck with your preparation and your exam. Bye!